Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. Welcome to this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. Floor Plane Weighing Station is an interesting decoration that will function as obviously a weigh station. So the cones are movable and they're put back in place every time you restart, so I think you'd then have to go ahead and move them. Or obviously I suppose you could just drive through them and then it does look like it will show some weight. So if you're looking for something like that, that would be pretty nice. You can also paint it as well. So another one here is Country House. Just an interesting design, not one I've normally seen. They said this is common in the Spain area, especially Andalusia, where basically you have a house along with silos and, and maintenance sheds and so forth. So if you'd like to add that kind of look to your game, this could be an option for you that's appeared. This mod was very interesting to me because it's something we have a lot of here in the US, especially in the Great Plains area. Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation. I've not seen a mod like this at any point in Farming Simulator. Maybe it's existed in previous versions, but to me this is really cool. Now You'll notice right at the beginning they've got a big attention bar about reading everything. So there are options that need to be turned on and off, the way this functions and so forth to make it work. So you definitely will want to read it if you want to use it. But if you've ever seen one of these central sprayers, in essence, that irrigate, you know what I'm talking about here. So you can see it kind of stretches out and you can deploy this from one to four sections. So if you're depending on your field size, it can go ahead and change. But from what I understand and what I see, this has tanks. You can fill it with herbicide or fertilizer. So you can basically use this in place of running over your field to some degree because it's circular, so it's not going to get the edges and so forth. But this is, again, how farms do this in the U.S. So you've got to keep an eye out for things such as getting too far away and it turning off. That's one of the things it talks about if you're a console player. There's ways around it, I suppose, that he talks about and so forth, or just things you need to be aware of. But this is basically a vehicle, and then you unfold the vehicle and then turn it on, and then it kind of runs. The only caveat that I saw at the end is the sprayers never turn off, so obviously it would consume a ton of material if you're not careful. So you're going to want to work with that. But it can take up to 30 minutes for this thing to go around one time. And that, again, is if you have everything set properly and that it's running and so forth. But if you have any interest in it, take a look at it. I may use this in one of my series at some point for no other reason than just to try it. This is one of the first mods I've seen, Interactive Big Bags, that works with Interactive Control that was introduced a little while ago by Vertex Design. So interactive control lets you interact with things at a more detailed level. So in this case with big bags, rather than just putting them over something, you actually have to open and close this lever so you can start and stop the filling that way. Keep in mind, obviously, for this to work, you need the interactive control mod as well. So if you have difficulty being able to tell the icons apart in the game, this mod could be a great help to you. Show fill type name adds the name of the fill type as you can see here as opposed to simply having the amount only with the icons. So that is it for this week's edition of Mods Worth Noting. I'll see you next time.